When I first came to the Wildwood area, it, you know, it was mainly the whites was on one side of the track, the blacks was on the other side of the track, <laughs> you know, and I've heard so many stories, you know, about racism, you know, in the Wildwood area. This church was planted 1881, Methodist Episcopal South, wrong side of the slavery issue. So this church has been a white congregation since 1881. And so we don't think that reflects God or his heart or his, his community or the new creation. So we've been trying to break that down. And in the midst of all that, this opportunity arose with Pastor Taylor and it created a whole new synergy in this church. So when I first came to it, it seemed that it was an outreach to anybody. It was people that was recovering drug addicts, people that's not even members of the church. It just was a community outreach. Come and let's dine together. First, it was a little tension, you know, because like I said, the community, the black and white, you know, the racial tension was there. You know, we just have to call it what it is. The racial tension was there. Our church was not comfortable walking through these doors for a Taste of Grace. Now they would show up for the seven o'clock Bible study that we had, but not the Taste of Grace to sit down and eat. You know, so they are slowly <laughs> getting comfortable with showing up a little earlier. It's a God thing to bring, you know, the black community and the white community together and to actually fellowship together in the same space. He's bringing two cultures together. Age don't mean nothing. Race don't mean nothing. We are one. Because food is love. We're, we're becoming a family. No matter who it is, we're a family. I think this is a sign and a symbol of God's kingdom reign in the earth. Yeah. And our community can look at this and go, okay, this is the way things have been for a long time, but it's a new day. And that's not going to be the way it is here anymore. We want this community to look like God's community. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful that Pastor Taylor can stand up on a Wednesday and say that you guys look like Jesus to us because they look like Jesus to us. And so that is such a perfect mix. They just keep coming and keep seeing the love, you know, of a shared meal. Eventually, their heart will be turned towards God. And our children, they're getting a different kind of experience of the church from their youngest days of like, oh, look at this, you know, white folks, black folks gathering together. They all love Jesus. They feed each other. They care for each other. They pray for each other. You know, that's a significant formative thing, I think, for our children yeah. and for us and for our community. You know, God didn't just put us together just for us to s celebrate each other. You know, I think now it's time for us to go out into the community and say, come in, you know, there's a feast going on.